For years, Dr. Victoria Hale could see the problem. The world's poorest, from India to Africa, dying from curable disease, while big drug companies did little to help. Then one day seven years ago, she admitted to a cab driver, an African immigrant, she worked for a big drug company. He rolled his head back in laughter and said, oh, you all have all the money. You the drug companies? Yes. Oh, she's very hot. She quit her job, took out a loan, and began working on a crazy dream, a nonprofit drug company. I wanted to try to do something that would, would put the world in a new place and put it on a new path. So Victoria went looking for drugs whose patents had expired, or drugs that weren't being used because there wasn't enough profit in them. And she found one. Cases of she brokered deals and organized a drug trial in India to combat deadly black fever. All these patients, if they don't get treatment, they will die within six months to eight months. Including 10-year-old Dilip. But Victoria proved an old neglected drug will inexpensively cure black fever. Dilip walked out 100% cured. Victoria's efforts could save 200,000 lives a year. That's right. That's right. And then she met this man. She's really fantastic. If opening that valve is Dr. Possible, Jay Keesling, a Berkeley professor who invented a cheap way to synthesize a drug already proven to cure malaria. Their new partnership, his for-profit company with her non-profit organization, could soon help save millions of lives. Amaris will make no profit from the drug. One World Health will make no profit from the drug. She had a vision, uh, and most people who are visionary start out with a vision. He's Tachi Yamada, who works for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which decided along the way to give Victoria's One World Health $150 million. I actually think she's a real hero. And then something else happened. Those big drug companies started calling. It's a route back to the heart of pharmaceutical industry and the hearts of so many employees in the industry who say to us, you really are on the right track. Let's keep doing it. Let's make it bigger. So how cool is your job? It's incredible. Incredibly cool. It's exhaustingly cool and it's exhilaratingly cool. It's all of those things. And if she ever sees that cabbie who pushed her to follow her heart, she can show him this picture and tell him... I did it. And then some. John Larson, NBC News, San Francisco.